Hello, hello. So after I made the Retopo video, I was thinking what to do with it. So I thought maybe I should do another likeness. I kind of lost track of time and didn't know it was already on the cinema, so I haven't watched Wakanda forever. And since it's new, there's not much any reference I could find online, so I didn't want to take the risk of butchering it. So I thought I should do Chadwick Sichala, the king. So I started with the Retopo head and tweaked it to match his face. You can import a reference here on Blender, but I actually find sculpting hard with a reference on, so I just leave my references on my other monitor. You'll see that I change my multi rest levels from time to time. I set it to a lower level whenever I make changes on the overall shape, then to a higher level when I work on the smaller details. One of my tips is to get the eyes right. Eyes help a lot on the likeness, so feel free to spend time on it. But it doesn't mean that it's okay to neglect the other features. Of course, every person has a prominent feature or something that's unique to them. Though it's really hard to picture your model right away at this stage without the hair. I duplicated the model and apply the multi-rest so I can mask for the facial hair. In this case, it's still hard to see Chadwick, but we have to trust the process and we can always tweak later. I used a sphere for his hair and did his curls. I still couldn't see him in this model, but I found that increasing the brush's strength made it a bit better. Then I masked his neck for the neck part of the suit. I added a spear for the torso. I remeshed and sculpted from there. At this point, I just wanted to make a bust model. I noticed there are some darker parts on the suit, so I masked those areas. I couldn't find good references, especially on the back, so I just improvised, so please excuse if it's not accurate. I extracted the mask, smoothed the edges, then used quadra measure for auto retopo. It's not perfect, so I still fixed some parts. I added a curved circle for the necklace, then added a cone and tweaked a bit for the claw. I added some loops because I knew that I wanted to give it a little bend using simple deform. I gave it an array modifier to duplicate the claw, then curve modifier and selected the curved circle that I made earlier. I angled the claw on edit mode to make it look like it's on top of his chest, but it's actually not perfect as you can see, so I applied the modifiers and adjusted the claws one by one. I deleted the other side so I could just mirror this after. I wanted to give the suit a pattern, so I quadrameshed it so I could UV unwrap. I didn't want to spend much time on UV unwrapping, so I didn't bother making it pretty. The pattern would be too small anyway, so it's really not that noticeable unless you zoom. There's a lot of patterns you can download, but in this case, I got it from ZBrush's Alpha Library. Then I realized that I didn't give him some lashes. He had a really pretty lashes, so it's a sin not to make these. I just wanted to call this done for now 
and make a quick render. So I just gave him some base colors, but for the face and the eyes, I painted it on sculpt mode. Then I added a cylinder for the highlights, just a little extra to make it feel alive. I felt the curls weren't strong enough, so I increased the intensity. Same for the beard. I might develop this model further because I wanted to try the new hair system for the hair. And you know how I love grooming the facial hair. But no promises. Okay, thanks. Bye!